Hello. Welcome to my channel. 2024 Honda HRV. Honda's smallest SUV, the HRV, has been known to pack a ton of utility and clever features into a compact package. And for 2023 it was completely redesigned. It's larger, more refined and more sophisticated looking inside and out. But the extra small SUV segment has gained some impressive offerings of late, and we're afraid the new HRV hasn't evolved enough to compete with the best. Overview The subcompact 2024 HRV is Honda's smallest SUV and the brand's most affordable vehicle. It's positioned below Honda's larger SUVs, the Sauer V, Pilot and Passport. Last year's complete redesign brought new styling, updated tech and a bit more power. The little Honda boasts lots of passenger room, ample cargo space and is priced competitively. It also comes standard with Honda Sensing, an impressive package of advanced driver aids. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. However, there are some drawbacks to consider before you commit to this pint-sized SUV, all of which you can read about in our test team's expert rating below. As part of your shopping search, we also suggest looking at some of its top competitors, including the Mazda CX-30, Subaru Crosstrek and Volkswagen Taos. Or if you have the budget for it, go for the larger SRV, which is significantly better. Performance How does the HRV drive? Our first driving impressions of the HRV were mixed. We didn't love the artificial feeling of the slightly overly light steering but got used to it over time. The engine and transmission also felt relatively adequate while tooling around at town at low speeds but utterly gutless once you have passengers on board and are trying to make moves at highway speeds. In fact, the HRV requires more than 10 seconds to accelerate to 60 miles per hour, which is leisurely even for this class. The HRV's most redeeming qualities are its smooth and responsive brakes and tidy handling. Even as one of the larger SUVs is the extra small class, the HRV delivers relatively light footed movement that Hondas are typically known for. Comfort. How comfortable is the HRV? The HRV's front seat cushions are shockingly stiff. It's almost like sitting on a wooden bench. There is also no lumbar support adjustment, which is surprising and disappointing, especially on our fully loaded test car. It's rare that we find the rear seats to be more comfortable than the fronts, but that holds true for the HRV. Thankfully things get better from here. Ride comfort is great. The HRV doesn't filter out all road bumps, but it does an admirable job of softening them without being overly floaty or lacking in body control. We also appreciate how quiet the cabin is. The HRV does a good job of keeping road, wind and ambient noise to minimal levels, and if you aren't prodding the engine for speed, you don't hear much from the powertrain either. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. The climate control had no issues cooling the cabin, but it oddly maintained too cold a temperature for our tastes in any setting we chose. Perhaps it's to help compensate for the lack of rear air vents, another strike against the HRV's overall comfort score. How's the interior? Putting aside the few comfort oversights, the interior of the HRV is one of its greatest strengths. For one, it's one of the roomiest cabins in this SUV class, with ample space in both rows. We found it extremely easy to get in and out of thanks to larger door openings and accessible seat heights. Honda's new touchscreen interface, which is making its way into many of the new models, is easy to acclimate to and simple to use. The steering wheel controls are also very natural to operate, and none of the gauges are obstructed or oddly placed. Seat adjustments for the driver are relatively limited in breadth, but the adjustments that are available offer a good range of motion. We also like how easy it is to see out of the cabin in all directions. Honda doesn't offer a surround view camera system, but the rear view camera offers multiple viewing angles, which is A+. Technology How's the tech? 
Technology is not strong suit of the HRV. We see the reason for foregoing a native navigation system in lieu of smartphone integration, which the HRV does, but it's always a nice option for those who prefer it. The HRV offers wireless CarPlay and Android Auto with wireless connectivity, a nice plus at this price point, a wireless charging pad, and three USB charge ports in the front cabin. But those will have to be shared with rear passengers because there are oddly no ports in the back. Audiophiles will likely be underwhelmed by the HRV's sound system too. The HRV features a pretty comprehensive set of driver aids, but a lot of them are tuned too conservatively. Adaptive cruise control is slow to accelerate and stops overreactively, and the blind spot warning system often issued alerts for vehicles that we thought were too far away. We couldn't really use them with passengers on board. Fuel economy. How's the fuel economy? The all-wheel drive HRV gets an EPA estimated 27 miles per gallon in combined driving, 25 city slash 30 highway, which is just marginally less than many of its closest competition, some of which have more powerful engines. After driving it on our 115 mile evaluation loop, however, we saw an impressive 31.6 miles per gallon under fairly light traffic conditions. We suspect having passengers on board will tax this underpowered engine more than most. Wild card. If there's a world where Honda makes its excellent 1.5 liter turbo engine available to the HRV, that's a world we want to live in. Until then the HRV will likely remain lost among a sea of other more interesting subcompact SUVs. As far as design goes, the car has definitely matured over its predecessor and sports a much more substantial and upmarket feel. But it also doesn't break any new ground in our eyes. It's safe. Honda HRV models The 2024 Honda HRV crossover SUV is available in three trim levels, LX, Sport and XL. All are powered by a 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine, 158 horsepower, 138 pounds to foot of torque, mated to a continuously variable automatic transmission. Front wheel drive is standard, and all wheel drive is optional. More information will be provided next year. Thanks for watching.